Hey minions, welcome to Crank It Up. Jim and Eric here with War Chest. War Chest came out last year from AEG. It's a tactical area control game with a lot of factions you actually get to choose four that will form your army and you'll play either a head-to-head -head or team versus team match. We're gonna be showing you a game of the head-to-head -head match using the suggested first time player armies that Eric and I will be playing. Eric will be playing as player number one and I will be playing as player number two. So I'll be at the bottom of the screen, uh, and I will be blank. Uh, that will be our initiative uh, token. And Jim will be up here, um, and he'll be the, the white uh, side. We're going to make sure that, we're going to assume that you know how to already play War Chest. Um, we're not going to be going through it in this video, but we will just go over the units really quickly if you need a brief refresher. So I'm going to be playing as team two. I have the archer. The archer cannot melee attack but can shoot someone two spaces away. They can either bend an arrow or shoot over someone. It does not have to be, the intervening, unit, intervening space may be occupied by a unit, so I can shoot over somebody. I have the scout. The scout special ability is that they can be deployed next to a friendly unit. Normally you can be control, deployed next to a control marker. The cavalry has the tactic to move and then attack. So I can move, I can attack, or I can move and attack. And the lancer, the most complicated unit on the group, can, as a tactic, move one or two spaces in a straight line and then attack. He has to attack um, if he's going to use that tactical movement. He can move normally, but if he's using his tactic, it has to end in a legal attack. And it is considered a melee attack, so if I stab the pikeman, he'll stab me back. <laughs> yep. So I have the light cavalry. He can uh, move two spaces for his tactic. Uh, he's basically like a pony express. Uh, your crossbowman uh, has to shoot um, line of sight, so he can shoot one or two spaces away as long as straight line. He cannot shoot over someone. Uh, the pikeman uh, is kind of like an ongoing. It can, whenever someone attacks it, that's a cavalry. Uh, this is the death wish. You're right. This is the death wisher of war chess. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, and then the swordsman, uh, he can attack and then move. So. Uh, if I shoot the pikeman, though, it's he still, just dies. He just dies. <laughs> he doesn't get to throw his spear back. <laughs> so we all start with uh, two coins in two, the bag. Two coins and the royal token, right? That's yep. what it's called. Royal token. Royal coin. Royal coin. Thank you. And the uh, objective is to have six of the control points, and uh, kind of like tennis, when you're playing singles, you're in the inside lines. Uh, instead of the, the doubles, which is for the four-player game. So I should state that um, we're relatively new to War Chess. We're just doing this because it's fun and we wanted to change things up. I've actually taught this game more than I played, <laughs> and this is your third time playing the yep, game. Yep, third time. So we're, no, we're not War Chess experts by any stretch <laughs> of the imagination. Um, I have read some of the strategies that people use. I'm not sure I agree. One guy seems to be a chronic passer. He doesn't like taking a chance on things, and if he doesn't have guaranteed he'll pass. I don't like to pass unless I have to. So let's have fun, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we're not gonna be passive aggressive in this game. Uh, I'll be starting, and so I will put a crossbow man down. Crossbow man down. Or woman, could be a woman. I'm not gonna be a... <laughs> gonna put a lancer down. Let's go ahead and uh, add some arrows. Moving my Lancer. <sighs> I hate you, Jim. <laughs> the Lancer's a great counter to the crossbowmen because suddenly they can reach the distance uh, beyond their range. So let's go ahead and grab another bow. One time I was playing this game with Simon Stern and we're doing the drafting. So this is the preset armies as I recruit a unit. I'm going to recruit the Lancer. Um, we were doing the draft and I foolishly let him get both ranged units. It wasn't close. Hmm. All right, so draw three. Yep. And you're up first. I'm gonna deploy an archer.
playing a different strategy this game than I've ever done before. Just try to throw Jim off. And he seems to be mimicking me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start putting my desktop out over here just so I can. I'm gonna claim initiative. So I'll go first in the next round. Mm hmm. Pikeman. I'll deploy cavalry. And I'm gonna take back initiative. Dang it. I needed that. <laughs> I was like, I don't have a crossbow, man. This is not a good sign. <laughs> I draw too many. Sorry. One, two, three. Now this isn't covered in the rule book, but it is mentioned on the Board Game Geek website that you can always look in your own bag because you can obviously figure it out. And why take up time? So you decided not to go. There you went. I wasn't going was it, it was not like I was going to control, but then I'm probably going to die. Okay. Two turn. All right. Wait. Uh, you, you went. I'm first. Right, yeah. You. That's right. Shuffle when you're out of coins. You can draw as many as you can, so I drew two. Now I'm going to shuffle and draw one. So now you're starting? Yeah. So I'll go ahead. Son of a gun. Again, death is permanent. Actually, we should probably put it over here, that way people can see who's dead. I probably should have left my pikeman off the field till that guy popped and then I could put my pikeman down there. Son of a gun. Mm. 
It's gonna be the quickest game we played today. This is abysmal. And you're gonna wipe me. It's gonna be embarrassing. Actually, I thought I, I thought I was wiping you last game, and then that ended up being way too close for comfort. Well, how did you do that? You can't oh, jump over him. that's right. Um, this is not chess. <laughs> can't just jump over people. Ah, I do not. Because if I go here or here, he can move and kill me here. Um, you know what? I'm going to take back initiative. Archer's absolutely going to die. But then you probably kill my horse. Yep. It's a foolish move, but you know what? I don't. I hate game theory, and he's probably going to run and kill me. My only hope is that he doesn't have. Oh, that's unfortunate for him. Because all I have are archers. <laughs> Let me put your dead guys over here so they know who, uh, kind of visually, just who's dying the most. Let me double check majors. Oh, I do have a coin. What happened? Oh, I'm gonna claim initiative. He can still do regular melee, right? Yes. Yeah. By he, I mean the cavalry. This is not a good hand. And we could. Well, you can show the camera, and no, I can't see it because the camera's behind me. The question is, he's going to suicide bad uh, my pikeman, and then he's going to lance my horseman. I will take initiative. Did not take initiative this turn, or no? Nope. Oh, like because you 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 use it. Yeah, I had initiative. You had initiative. Son of a biscuit eater. <laughs> Your turn, you have a ship. Son of a... Mm. You took it. Mm. Uh, this is not what we imagined. Go 
kind of do a shift in strategy and get some swordsmen out. I was about to have a really bad turn. <laughs> okay, I believe it. How many coins do you have in hand? Three. Three. Do you start? I will kill Calvary. Take initiative this turn? No, you no, took it last. I, I had it. I, I need to take initiative this turn. <laughs> Don't need to have uh, some archers die on this area. So, my turn. I'm sorry. Let me uh, put these in stacks. The lights. So my go, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and... Uh, That's not a straight line. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Back this guy away. I just like having initiative so much. <laughs> Let's go move this up one. interesting yet slightly frustrating things in this game is when you draw your tokens in the wrong order. Unfortunately, you can play from any order in your hand if you want. What? You can play from any order in your hand if you want. <laughs> you just do shuffles, right? I did. How many coins are in your bag? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <sighs> I 
вот это ушел. I'll take initiative. It's my initiative. Mm. Now for next round. <laughs> Did I take an initiative or did you take it back, right? I just took it back. Okay. Uh, this is not the way it's supposed to go down. because that would have been death for me. You would have taken that opportunity and killed me. For the first time, I'm gonna pass. I finally found the value and strategy of passing. <laughs> Back initiative. Let's get here. Strategy backfiring on me. I don't want this many freaking swordsmen. Yep, you just... Oh, you can't kill him because he's adjacent. I don't want to kill him. Yeah.
you first, aren't you? So I got three, you have four. That actually kept the game going. Mm-hmm. Cause you could have just popped that one there and been done. Yep. So now I play defensively. My turn again, right? Yeah. Good game. Yeah, nothing I could do about it. No. Nowhere I could reach. So both of us had some pretty terrible hands at one point where it's like, I've got this. No, I don't. I've got yeah. the worst possible one. Now, at one point, I had all the cards I needed to kill both those guys as long as you didn't have those tokens. And I'm like, I could kill you both. I could have it. I could take over that one. I could take over that one. Move on. It's like he's, de he's dead no matter what. Yeah. So he's going to go on a suicide mission. Yeah. And he's going to defend the control token. It's going to slow you down. Yeah. Well, good game. Good game. That was uh, not as bad as it could have been. My strategy of going with Swordsman again kind of backfired. I, they got you killed away. a lot of things. I did. I did kill a lot of things. Um, you killed. You have more uh, orphan children than I do, so uh, <laughs> I hope you can uh, sleep with that. <laughs> I can. You know, they will forever live in their history books as the victors, because, you know, no one remembers the people who lost. Uh, but they remember their lives that they lived. <laughs> so that's War Chest. We're going to be doing a lot more with this game on the channel. I'm really excited about it because there are 16 combinations and. There's 16 different unit types, and you pick four of them per player. And I already forgot what the number was. I did the math <laughs> some time ago. But it's a, an absurd number of combinations, and each one is different. And who you face against, if there's no range attack, then you can go ahead and um, just rush up at somebody. I think it's also interesting that uh, it gives a great opportunity to do some expedition games showcasing some historical battles because in the back of the book they have some various scenarios from historical battles uh, such as you know Robert de Bruce um, look at and his you, victory you, for the Scottish independence and stuff like that. Look at your history major. Uh, well no history minor um, but yeah it's very uh, interesting. I, I haven't done the uh, heroic battles after the initial you know the setup game I've always done the draft but it'd be fun because that way I could avoid drafting poorly yeah. Which is, like I said, <laughs> I somehow let Simon Stern get the archer and the crossbow men, and I just couldn't touch him. Ooh, yeah, because you could put the, yep. Yeah, that would be pretty rough. Yeah, there's an interesting draft order in this game where I think it's I take one, then the other person takes two, then the other person mm -hmm. takes two. So you could, if you don't take a ranged unit. At yeah, the first, first move, you someone you're kind of screwed. Both. Interesting. Well, thank you for uh, joining us, and I hope you enjoyed this. Yep, let's shut it down. Thank <laughs> you.